Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici. My name is Vincenzo and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. How are you? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful end of winter, beginning of spring. Uh, this morning, or actually yesterday, I just, you know, nice warm weather here in Montreal, Canada. Uh, and as you know, for some of the Americans that don't enjoy the snow, we get a lot of snow up here. And, you know, it's been one of those winters where not too cold, but lots of snow. But the, the snow is melting finally. And, um, and, you know, our spirits were high only this morning to wake up to a couple of more centimeters. It's wet snow. I think we're going to, it's going to disappear fairly quickly. But nonetheless, I think we're all uh, ready to get out and, uh, you know, do some, do some outdoor activities the, in the warmth of the, of the spring or the summer. I'm looking forward to my golf season. So, Having said all of that, welcome. Today we have for you another uh, Delta Classic. Um, I, uh, some time ago, I purchased two pens uh, from the Matt Journal Collection. You see their, their heads just there for now, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll take a close-up in just a second. But the Delta Journal is, in fact, a dedication uh, to essentially uh, democracy uh, and in more particularly the constitutional right of the freedom of the press. And it, it comes in, I believe it has uh, four colors. Um, I have two of them here, the ivory and the blue, and there's a green version and a reddish version as well. It comes in a roller ball um, or a fountain pen or a ballpoint. And uh, they're all, you know, hand-turned resin. We'll take a look at them, uh, you know, in a few seconds. Uh, they have a distinctive clip, rhodium trimmings. Uh, you know, basically Delta quality and Delta design. Not an overly lavish uh, design, I would say. Uh, fairly simple and classic. And um, let's take a look at it. So let me just uh, jump to my... Overhead camera, here we go. Um, here are the two pens. Um, let see if I could focus a little bit more so that they're closer to you. As you can see, this is the ivory version. The ivory, uh, and this one is a true matte version because you can tell just from the uh, the way the, the resin is uh, is shining it's not a shiny it's a fairly matte finish but look at that resin isn't that gorgeous this is the ivory one um, we could see the all the trimmings are in rhodium okay it's got the classic distinctive clip with the little roller ball that delta initiated okay and that's uh, uh, that's the the ivory uh, finnel slightly pointed the two uh, the two ends okay so that's one of them put that back on my night mm -hmm. and then this is the the matte blue but i gotta tell you i don't see the matteness in this there's a there's a little bit of a shine here so uh, i'm not sure that that's an accurate description because the other two colors i believe are fairly matte but this one's got a little blue shine in it so uh, that's the matte blue let's look at the first of all how do we get to the cartridge converter? You've seen this before in Delta. Genius, isn't it? You don't have to open up. You can get to it from here, or as we will see in a second. So if we look in, inside of the pen, um, we can get to the cartridge converter this way. Okay, cartridge converter is there. Um, it's got the Delta branding on it. I'm not going to I'm not going to unscrew it because I've got ink in it but uh, this cartridge converter actually has a screw in mechanism so that when it's in it's tight in it, you know it avoids slippage sometimes I have some of these more flimsy uh, cartridge converters and uh, you know they pop out on you and the ink goes all over the place so that's um, that's the design beautiful design by the way it just when I turn this you know, it's almost on ball bearings, you know. 
the screwing mechanism here is very soft. It's a nice sized pen, okay, as you could see. It's not the, not the biggest. Delta has made, uh, is known for its bigger, bigger pens. It does, I believe, post securely. Yes, it does. It posts wonderfully, in fact. In fact, I prefer it, I think, post it. Just gives a little bit more weight to it because it is, you know, it is a large pen, um, not an overly large pen, but it's very light. It's very light. So now let's take a look at that nib. So that's the one of the, you, you could get this pen in two types of nibs. This steel, uh, is that a steel nib or a 14 carat? Uh, yeah, that's the 14 carat. So that's a 14 carat white. Um, and you can get it this way, or you have the fusion nib. In these two pens, I have the regular nib. I'm going to test this one later on. I may have sprung the nib. Uh, when I was doing my video, uh, it slipped off one of these nights and onto the floor, and I think it landed right on and i try to quickly reset it but it may it may give us a problem but we'll see we'll see later on in the writing sample to see if it uh, if it works out so that's those are the two pens now if we could set aside my knights and i just want to do a quick uh, a quick um, size comparison so i'll bring out my fountain pen therapy uh, and I, what I've done for you is that I've chosen several blue pens, although I should have chosen some gray ones as well. But um, as you can see here, it is bigger than my um, Diplomat. I have my Moon Man imitation of Leonardo, <laughs> Leonardo of Fischina. Uh, so it's, um, the Moon Man is slightly bigger as you can see the joya is is a huge pen definitely bigger uh, on the other side i have my uh, memento zero um memento zero uh, sorrento blue sorrento and you know when you look at these the two you could see where leonardo has the delta influence okay? uh, not to say that one is copying the other it doesn't this has a very distinctive uh clip but the clipping here and after all you know it's uh, one of the founders of delta is now running leonardo so um this is my monteverde which is a much much bigger pen as you can see it's almost as big as my my joya aleria and and i have my tabalti which i will be reviewing very very soon i'm going to publish my video uh, i just finished that one so you'll get to see my my uh my review of the Tabalti N60. So that's, in a nutshell, a size comparison. Let's go ahead and uh, work on my, um, on my writing sample. First and foremost, what ink are we using today? Well, the ink I'm going to be using today is the, um, it's a Van Diemen's ink. And you'll see that I have reviewed uh, the most recent collection from Van Diemen, but this is an older collection and uh, it's by the name of black truffle so it's a kind of a grayish black uh, from the the, the, the seasons uh, collection of uh, a nice bottle uh, you know you know nice glass bottle squarish you know nice and big overture opening so when you fill your pens you don't have a problem so that's the ink as far as the journal that I will be using, again, I'm, I'm using one of my old uh, Abonichi uh, Teco 2021, uh, the cousin notebook, um, be just because, I, you know, I never got to fill it completely. So I use some of the, the empty pages and um, to do some of these swatches or some of these uh, ink samples that we're, we're looking at today. So why don't we get, right get to it and let's see... Uh, Let's see, let's see what gives. This is the one that I may have sprung. Let's just see how it, uh, how it um, performs. So this is the Delta Matte Journal. 
blue. The nib is a delta stub. A fairly, by the way, a fairly uh, square stub. You see how squarish it is. So there's no cursive. It's not a cursive stub. It's uh, fairly square. So it's a delta stub. Uh, I said 14 carat, but I'm having difficulty looking at it. No, you know what? Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell. Should have brought my magnifying glass. I should have taken out my magnifying glass. Regardless, uh, it's a gorgeous nib. Even sprung, it works well. Uh, you know, there's a you, know, you saw that. There's a little bit of drag because the tines, the tines need to be readjusted. But in terms of it's very flexible, by the way. So it's not as rigid as some uh, other stub. And look at the line variation. I mean, uh, it's just, uh, you know, very, very nice. Um, there you go. You see it, it does skip a little bit because uh, very nice, smooth, and wet very thick. Let's take a look at the other one. The other one that uh, I didn't... Um, because of the squareness, then they're not cursive. They do have a tendency to, you know, have some some hesitant starts or some false starts, as I call them. So this is the Delta Mat Journal Ivory. And the nib is the same thing. Um, it's the delta stub. I don't want to mislead, so we'll we'll see it's the steel, because it is. Sometimes the the gold is um, on the silverish color as well. Eh? So here we go, and uh, this one uh, this one has no problems whatsoever. Nice thick lines. The stub is a very square, so you can see that it's giving me some of these beautiful, thick, thicker lines, if you will. And in terms of the rating, I mean, the quality is delta quality. So the design I find is very simple, classic. There's really it's not an overwhelming design. So you know. You know, I can't give it a 10 like my Delta Lex or my Amalfi. So let's say I, I, I would give it a 9.5 just because it is a solid, solid everyday pen. In terms of the nib, this one that's not sprung, I give it a 9.6. I don't like these square um, stubs. I prefer the cursive stubs. It's got more of a rounded finish. But you know what? It's still still a fabulous nib. So 9.6. In terms of value, um, you know what? I got these pens at a really... I forget where I... may have actually found them on eBay, which is rare that you get Delta pens on eBay that are not expensive <laughs> and that somebody's not trying to, uh, you know, gouge you on an auction. But... I, I remember looking at the most recent, um, because I do want to get the red and the green, and I never seem to get the right price. I think there are about, right now, $195 US. So, you know, not the greatest value, but, you know, for a pen of this quality, um, the value's there, I think. So, that does it. I hope you enjoyed the Delta Journal. Uh, it's a wonderful pen. If you can still find them, and I think you can, get your hands on one of them. I think you're 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 almost certain to enjoy them. Uh, they write very very well, and they're Delta quality. So, thank you very very much. Please subscribe, enjoy the videos, enjoy the reviews, and please visit my website. There's all kinds of resources that I've put there uh, recently, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you. Good night.